everyone. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, with yet another tutorial. This is tutorial number 30. And we're going to uh, do some two scenarios here, one up the top, one down the bottom. They're not related to each other. But before I start, some people have asked, when am I going to do the really advanced uh, techniques like XY wings and XYZ wings and, and all kinds of things like that. They're all coming down the tube. Just be patient, We're, we'll get there. So for the time being, let's have a look at this, this example that I've got. This scenario up here is, first thing I do is to look at, to look at it to see if there are anything that stands out. And the first thing I noticed was in this block here, we have a six here and a six here, and that's the only place you can find a six in that block. This means we can use the rule of exclusion which, in, which means that we can get rid of the sixes along this row. That's what the rule of exclusion says. So we get rid of that six, and we can get rid of this six. Well, what does that do? That makes this a five. So let's get rid of that, and let's make it a nice big five. Now, because we make that a five, oh, there's several things that are gonna happen, I see. First of all, um, let's just do this row we can get rid of this five, we can get rid of that five, and we can get rid of that five. Now, what an, what's another thing about that five? Well, if I look at this five, it's a middle, bottom, and a, and a top, that's gonna become a five. But if, let's say I didn't see that. There's always maybe two ways of, you know, of solving something. This five also means that this can become a six, because that goes for goodbye, so this becomes a six. And what does that mean? Well, that means that this here can be erased and this becomes a three. That six also means that this can go and that three also means that this three can go, so this becomes a two. If that's a two and a three in that block, we can get rid of this two and we can get rid of that three. Now I may, I may say, well, Let's see ramifications from those. Are there, are there any? Well, bottom, let's take the two. Bottom, top, middle. Well, we know there is, 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 that can't be a two here, so we can get rid of that two. It has to be in here somewhere. But we've got a three and a five here. No, we don't. We have a three here, sorry. There's a three there, so you get rid of that three, and this becomes a five. Now we could just see there was two ways of coming to that five middle, bottom, and top. Okay, we've already got all those, those numbers in already, which is great. Now, because we put this six in, we've got a top, this would be a bottom, and this has to be the middle. So we now have uh, an eight, nine, and eight, nine matching pair, and over here, we have a two, three, six, which is a three by three. Now, there's also something interesting here. Because we put that three in, the ramification of that three means that this three and that three, bottom, top, a three has to be in the middle here, and guess what? This three is going to be a real three, which leaves us with another matching pair and a two and a six. So look at all the changes we made just by noticing those two sixes. Um, Let's leave that one now for the time being. Let's now go on to um, this scenario down in here. Well, it, it, this is something that I had got to a certain stage on in a puzzle. And I thought, oh, you know, I'd like to share this with you. Well, we have a, pair, a matching pair, one through there. We have a possibility uh, over here. Of, the six has to be somewhere over here. Um, and that's again the rule of exclusion, but there's no sixes along here. Now what else can we got? And this is very important what I'm going to show you. Here we have a three and a four, the top and the bottom in this block. Over here we have a three and a four, and the opposite, top and the bottom. Whenever you see that situation, a three and a four here and a four and a three there, you know that there has to be a three and a four in there. So this becomes a three, four. Okay, now, 
You may say, well, I didn't see this, this here, three, four, and three, four here. You can also work it out because here we have a bottom, here we have a top, we know a three has to be there or there. And here we have a bottom, and here we have a top, we know a four has to be there or there. Now, is there anything else we should be aware of? Well, what about, um, let me see, if this, this four is going to be definitely there, because of the rule of exclusion, you can get rid of this four and you're finishing up with a six eight six eight matching pair. Because you have a matching pair, this eight can be eliminated. So you finish up with a matching five nine. You may find as you push on during your uh, puzzles, doing harder puzzles, you sometimes you get a whole pile of matching pairs. Look at this row here. We have a one, two, a three, four, and a six, eight, all matching pairs. So that's it for today's session. Hope you get something from it. In our next session, we do some more scenarios.